Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. In this episode of Build With Us, we'll be going over how we put together our heavy intercessor that we got in the new Pariah Nexus kit. And for that, we'll be using plastic glue, super glue, and we kind of will do some sharp clippers, and our X Acto blade. And you don't have to do this, but I like to. So I drill out the barrels using my handy dandy drill. All right, let's get started. To get started on my heavy intercessor here, I've got my frame out, I've got my directions out, and I'm going to start with this option here. So we'll just do a standard heavy intercessor. So you can see this is the base frame, step seven, and then we can add options of different heads, poses here. So I'm going to get my sharp clippers here, and let's see if I can find all these pieces. Alright, so we're going to start, and I'm going to take the flat of the clipper, flush to the model, I'm going to start clipping him out. And then what I want to do is I want to take this piece, and I'm going to lay it on its direction. That way I don't lose them. I use this on a baking tray to make sure I don't drop the little guy. And he starts rolling around on the floor. Especially with the smaller bits. And I'm going to go around and finish clipping off everything. See, like that, I was holding it off over the tray and it went on the floor. Fortunately, this is a big piece. I was able to find it. Now I have all my pieces cut out, so I'm ready to begin the cleaning process. But first, I want to talk about this section right here. So, with every heavy bolt rifle, each one of these magazines that are depicted is a different option for the rifle. So in this particular example, the 8A bit, which is consistent throughout them, when you fit that in there, you get a heavy bolt rifle. Now if you get the A9 option, the longer magazine, that is the executor option, and the 810 is the hailstorm option. So I play kill team. What that means is the A8, if I load it with this, the regular, that's going to be the rapid fire. The executor is going to make it a heavy. And the A10, the hailstorm, will make it an assault. So I'm just going to go with the regular here. To let you know what I'm looking for when I say cleaning, I'm going to take my X-Acto blade. And you're going to see these little nubbins from where the sprue gate tied into the model. I want to just trim those down to make it smooth there. And once I've got all the little sprue gates done, something I like to do, but you don't have to, is take a file and just smooth it off completely. And what happens is, if you look at where all these little sprue gates tie into the model, that creates a ring around the model, and that's where you'll find your mold line. And so, I can just take my model here, and slowly spin them. So 
Let's see, playing off any world lines. Just scrape some of that off. And I find it helps, especially if it's in the joints, like these knee sockets. Having it nice, smooth, and flush helps the model fit together better. So I'm going to go around and do the rest of these. So all our bits are cleaned and sorted. So I'm going to do, as I put them together, just dry fit, see how it's going to go. I'll take some of my plastic glue. I'll just run it around the edges are that are going to join. I'm not going to do the head bit though. I don't want to clog up that little hole right there yet. My head joint's got to fit in there. So I'll just squeeze that together. And while I'm squeezing that, I'll prepare this one leg. And they, these just fit in there really well. Now, something I'm going to do is since I use plastic glue, that melts and fuses the two pieces of plastic together. So it makes it difficult for it to come off. But it stays tacky for a while. So while I'm going to wait for that to dry, I am actually going to drill out the barrel hole. So I have my little drill bit. You don't have to do this. But what I like to do is have a little bit so that um, I can see where the paintbrush should go, make nice even circles. So what I did is I marked an X on the barrel with my X-Acto blade. That lets me know where to put the leading edge of my drill and then I will start drilling it in. Now I don't care about going too far. See I was way off center there. I slipped on that one. But that's fine. What I do is then I take my exacto blade and I just cut a symmetric circle here. So just run it around in a circle like that. And what that does is that gives a place for my paintbrush to not have to put like a little black dot in there to simulate the barrel. And then just to smooth it out, I'll take this. And while I'm over here, let me just get the magazine. There we go. Now I'm going to jump around a little bit to allow some of the other pieces to set. I know he's supposed to be shooting. So one on each of the wrists. And that's what I like about plastic glue. It's the ability to play with the position of the bits even as it's tacky. Of course Doing this little triangle formation can get a bit tricky. Let's get this on camera. All right. 
end. Let's check it from the back, make sure the little joints where they're supposed to be. Just make sure he looks like the picture. So we're definitely going to let that set for a little bit. So let's put on the backpack. When I have enough of this put together, I can join it to its 40 millimeter base. But then I'm going to use super glue. Because I know the plastic glue, glue I don't trust uh, melt and bond to. That different type of base plastic. And so when I cite these on the base, since I'm trying to put these in carrying cases, I want as much of the figure to fit within the circle as you look downward on it. I think that'll do it. Now that'll set much faster. Alright, I think we're ready for the head. gazing off the side of his collar. The collar which protects a lot of his face mask there. Now let's start on the pauldrons. So I'm trying to get the glue that runs down the stem of my super glue. I mean plastic glue. Jeez. Okay. Let's check it around back. Alright. And this one. done. So you can see it came together quite fast. Well, thank you for joining us at Mitch Wargaming Labs. We'll see you next time.